Um, thank you. Uh, actually, uh, Jack had an item, so we should have taken 9.2.1 first. Yeah. For this, um, what I would like to do is, and this is for my own edification and understanding, um, and just worrying a little bit about um, the development process, especially when uh, we are on recess. And so, what I would, what I would like staff to do is actually let us know what the the process is or the language is for surrounding municipalities if it if it completely mirrors ours that's fine um, but um, I'd like to know what uh, the time limit for appeals of Planning Commission decisions are in Berkeley Oakland um, and I think I had also on there um, Alameda and Albany um, just just so that I can have a contextual understanding of how other folks do this Okay, so that's just a request for information. Well, yeah. Do, do you want an agenda item on September? Do, yes, just okay. a report back. Okay. Just okay. a report. Okay. 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 Duly noted? Just put that on the... Yes. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Any other council members? All right, well, um, I, I've been... I've been uh, to China and back, <laughs> and, and I want to report on, I don't know, a, a, a multi-day <laughs> meeting, as it were. <laughs> so in February, I want to thank the staff. Um, Tom McGurk did a great job in getting my business cards translated into Chinese on one side and English on the other. And um, Michelle and, and Charlie worked on getting materials about investment opportunities in the city of Emeryville ready, loaded onto flash drives, which was quite a project to get them done and get the, and pick them up and all, the, all of that because it was a lot of driving. So um, it had a lot of good information and I just wanted to share with you um, the nonprofit that put this together is called the US Asia Innovation Gateway. The focus of the trip was um, on Silicon Valley. The Chinese are very interested in innovation and uh, uh, in terms of high tech. Um, this is a, a brochure that they put together that they gave to, um, just pass this around briefly, um, that they gave to everybody who we were meeting with that just had our little, uh, our bios and, and um, description of that, but um, in China there's a lot of interest in um, how Silicon Valley kind of emerged and came into being and Facebook and Google, even those are those are censored in China, they're still really interested in that and, and um, Emeryville's uh, uh, claim to fame for being part of Silicon Valley is uh, uh, home of uh, a lot of creativity right across the street. So uh, when I talked a little bit about Animators Row at one of the forums, they were picked up. So, but, but basically the, the um, structure of the trip was either meeting with mayors or vice mayors or other government officials. And those business cards were, came in handy because you walk into the room and there's a receiving line. And I learned the proper et etiquette for exchanging business cards as you walk down this business, yes, um, as you walk down this receiving <laughs> line. And then our delegation faced the Chinese delegation and then the heads of our delegation, head of our delegation was at the front of the room with the, with the uh, corresponding official. And we were headed in by our delegation by Brian Peck, who's a deputy director for the governor's office for international trade. And um, apparently there's a lot of governor's trips going to, uh, going to China to try to foster business uh, connections and collaborations. Um, and uh, the mayor's trip, this, this was the second year for the Silicon Valley mayors to go. Alameda County was represented by Emeryville, very eastern Silicon Valley in the city of Dublin, <laughs> <laughs> Fremont and Union City, and um, uh, and then we had Menlo Park, Millbrae, um, uh, Redwood City, 
um, as some uh, some of the other cities. So anyway, um, either we were meeting these officials in and exchanging business cards and and just talking about increased cooperation and collaboration, or we were visiting high-tech office parks. And um, just to put a little bit of scale on this, uh, our first stop outside of Beijing was the city of Chongqing, and the government decided that they were going to develop that as a whole city of 30 million people, so it has the population of the whole state of California in this one city and it was going to be a high-tech center. So there's a whole valley for the big data center. There's a whole another valley of the city for uh, R&D and it just went on like that. And I'm not just talking about the building one building. I'm talking about building 12 to 20 30-story high-rises as part of this R&D center or whatever. And then the other, the other thing I'll just say by way of um, a, a highlight is um, they're very, like I said, they're very interested in innovation and so one of our last stops was um, called eHub which the buildings for this are built in the character, Chinese character that means um, dream. And they take young people who have some kind of high-tech business idea um, on an application basis uh, from the ages of 18 to 25 to come together to work rent-free with all the resources that they want to develop their I idea. And uh, so it was very funny because at that forum we got up front and, and they said, you're all so old, you could be our parents. What do you have to offer us? And, you know, it was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, there, was a, there, was a, there was a lot of media print, print and uh, TV news. And so the organizers, this is, we made the front page of some city, I don't remember, and I don't read Chinese, so I have no idea, but we made the front page in one, and then in another city, we, uh, we were on pages uh, two and four, and uh, there's a little clip uh, where they interviewed me in particular. So anyway, um, it was a lot of, uh, so I hope to get, I gave you kind of a gist of what that was about. Um, it was really interesting. I learned a lot. I'm not sure we're going to have Chinese investors knocking on our door to develop affordable housing with the projects that we, you know, right. I came with. But anyway, it's, who knows? Um, the one practical thing that did come out of that is uh, someone who works for an American consulate uh, uh, was very interested in when I told the Emeryville story about groundwater and soil remediation and how um, uh, virtually every new building here means that we cleaned up both those things. And so um, thanks to staff, before I left I was able to give them a list of companies that have had expertise doing that remediation. And um, I think that'll be, uh, I hope they can make, you, make use of that. It seems as though when uh, the central government decides to throw money at a, a, a like, you know, at R&D whole cities and whatever, it seems to happen without EIRs and the kinds of processes that we employ in this country and in this state. But um, I, I hope that technical expertise can be put to use. So anyway, I just wanted to let people know about that. And um, uh, for a, the second meeting in September, I, um, I'm going to introduce Brian Peck, who was the our head of our delegation through the governor's office. So if you can put him on the agenda, at the front of the agenda, and he can give you more detail about the trip, what the governor's intent is around fostering trade relations with China, and just about our experiences. So um, please put that on, a, on the second uh, meeting. Peck? Brian Peck is his name. All right, and uh, 
With that, meeting's adjourned. <laughs> Thanks for the travelogue.